manifestation money we sell it as well. So it becomes real. It's as real as you need it to be. You know what I mean? You look at it, you want to go make it. Yeah, visualize it. You got to feel it. Tangible. Tangible. 99? No, 2000. 2000 maybe. You just missed the cut, bro. This shit hard. This shit is hard. Hard, bro. Sure. Sure. All the stuff we got coming. Idea was it for the pizza box? That's like something You never seen nothing like that. Yeah, nah. You always eating pizza. Like. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I can really make ten bands off modeling in this one conference. Oh, right now? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can't get scared. Uh, I'm not scared. Sometimes you gotta see something shit like this as investments in itself. Like your first yeah. year in investments is not your third year in investments. Right. You know what I'm saying? You exactly. see people, and then th three years later you see them again, and you've seen them consistently mm -hmm. right. since then. That you've been growing, they've been growing, and now it's like, yeah. you know, this sometimes yeah, now y'all could work. Time is planting the shit. seeds type right. shit. Yeah. You know, this is getting your feet wet. It's some booties. Bruh, you can't bruh, talk. Bruh. Ain't I you can't talk. not to get access to capital, the key is to build up cash flow. You gotta make money, it ain't about just having credit. Or getting access to somebody else's money. If you ain't making no money, don't go get nobody else's money because then what's gonna happen, you gonna spend it on something else. That ain't proven, so now you in debt. Right. That's what I would tell a young person in, in your position. Okay. I'm gonna tell you what you gonna do. Don't like, overthink it, drop that shit. Yeah. Don't overthink it, don't try to make it seem like because people just want to see stuff, you know what yeah. I mean? You're going to get better. Everybody's time, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're not going to come out with the hardest shit right, first right, right, off, right. you know what I mean? I'm sure everybody that started 10 years ago or whatever, mm -hmm. they look back at their shit they did in the first year like, well, what's that? Yeah. You know what I mean? So just yeah. drop it, brother. All right, see you. All right, well, good job. Day two of Atlanta Adventures. I'm waiting on my Uber right now, head over to InvestFest. Yeah, man, I'm actually looking forward to today at InvestFest. I'm excited for the speakers. I don't have anything to take notes, though. They were selling like little InvestFest um, notebooks and pens at the marketplace yesterday, and I should've grabbed one. We'll probably get one today. But, hey, man, without further ado, you already know the fucking vibe. Lavish Wild. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at lavish.lows. Instagram sus suspended my shit. So I'm off a new account right now. I'm just gonna be using that as the main and whatnot. Try and push that. Go my following up on there. Did he bought a speak at 12, the keynote speaker. Should be interesting. Let's see what he's gonna say. Apparently it's supposed to be a building B, but I literally have no idea where that is. I'm just following the crowd. Damn! I'm sure it should have slid earlier. I mean this line kind of moving, it's just long. Damn. Damn, shit's still going. Shit's still going. This is the start of the line? Is this the end of the line? But this shit's still going. Finally in here, bro. I'm so I can't use my tripod. It's a nut shit. But finally, we got like two more flights to go. <laughs> 50,000 more people. I ain't even gonna lie, bro got me chopped. I'm using my tripod, cuz. Fuck is you. Alright, about to enter the stage room. Alright, bro, this shit's type overwhelming. I ain't even gonna cap. It ain't supposed to be speaking at 12, and it's 12.15 right now, but I don't even know what stage this is at. I'm at the EYL stage, you would think that'd be the main stage. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just sitting down listening to who's speaking right now. When I first got started, I was going to tell you I didn't have to figure it out. But the one thing I hear, I hear faith. I hear belief. I knew that all I had to do was just believe and God was going to put everything else in place for me. Some of you all got businesses that you want to start. And you ain't going to bank to approve you. Business plan. And I'm sitting here telling you you got everything that you need inside of you right now. Alright bro, so taking a 
lunch break. Come back for the EYL podcast. Right back in your seat. And two thirty. Top of the notebook, y'all. About to go check out this booth. My man Dev from Philly told me to check out. He said it's one of his guys in here, so do what they doing. What's up? My name is Brandon. My clothing brand is called Black as Wealth. The purpose of the brand is to inspire the culture to realize that we have wealth in us. And due to our inner wealth, we can achieve any other kind of wealth that we want. So it's a motivational brand to get people to believe in themselves, to achieve all their dreams, go to aspirations. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you said you're from Jersey, just moved yes. to Atlanta. Yes, sir. So how's, how's the business going for you it's so cool, far? It's cool, man. Like, I mean, it's, you can, these events are always around. Yeah. They might be smaller, but they, 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 they have them all the time. All the time. So like, like doing events like these is, really like yeah, where I want to be at exposure. so that's why I moved down here because yeah. you can make so many different connections yeah exactly you just, you just got to be in the building that's it right just be in the space be, that's yep. all that matters be in the space and you go you don't know who you're gonna bump into yes, to meet somebody change your life or whatever yes sir yeah. especially at events like this bro it's like yeah, sure. this is what it's, this is what it's here for yeah for real for real yeah so what you looking forward to most for this event just just make the connections okay that's it yeah I mean everybody I'm gonna make money too, but like the yeah, connection yeah, yeah. is really what I'm really here for. That's a long journey. Yeah, okay. because you see, like I didn't, I didn't know you, and you knew somebody. Like, like we got a mutual yeah, yeah. friend, and like you coming out, and that's the connection that we made. Exactly. You know? So that, that's why these things are important. Yeah, bro. Right. Make the connection. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Let me get your info. Yeah. All right, bro. We'll definitely tap in with you. Appreciate it. Appreciate you stopping Good to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, bro. Yeah, have a good one. Making connections, bro. That's all it's about. How you doing? This is interesting. Yeah. Is it? Don't let them flip the switch. <laughs> yeah, don't let them flip the switch. Are you into cryptocurrency? The um, I have some holdings and I don't really check my account just because I know it's there and I'll just Where's put it money at? in what, what, uh, crypto.com. I'm keeping it on the exchange. Let me tell you something. This is what we're realizing. People uh, have this. Okay, so this side of the book is more of your technical side uh, to really make sure. Like right now, you're keeping your money on exchanges. Yeah. You need to get it off. You need to put yeah, it on, on a, a um, ledger, right? Yeah, ledger, or you can put it on the private one. Okay. okay, like Exodus, Trust, stuff like that. Then when you flip it over, this is talking to you about like crypto lyrics, crypto on campus, crypto everywhere, and then all of your celebrities. So you're reading up on like what they're doing yeah. and their thought process. On. Okay. Okay. And then we have these password books, which are waterproof and tear resistant. And those come together for $30. Hey, I think I'm going to grab one. Grab one? Yeah. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Philly. Okay. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Philly? Philly is all up in here. For There's so many people from Philly here. Yeah, I haven't come across that yet. Yeah. You're not, yeah. uh, uh, I see the West Oh, okay, okay. He what? and I, he and I, this is my business partner. Okay. Yeah, we both rolled it. How'd you get started in your crypto journey? So, I was a teacher for 17 years, uh -huh. and I knew I needed to do something different, so yeah. people told me about it, and so we just started diving in really deep, and this is what came about. So this is his son, and that's my daughter. Oh, that's nice. And so we cartoonized. Yeah. Them, you know. That's cool. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So if you and what, could, do, what do you what do you do? I'm vlogging right now for okay. YouTube, but I model, model, travel, vlog. I'm yeah. starting. I want to start getting my feet wet with investing. Like a couple okay. years ago, that's when I started really getting like interested because I realized like I realized how the economy was going these last few years, and I saw like yeah. how people could capitalize off it. And then I I was just like looking at stuff but at the same time i was i'm kind of missing out yeah. so i'm like let me just absorb this information so i can hurry up and get started exactly. get my feet wet and just even with a little bit just putting it here and there forgetting about it just leaving it there just letting it grow that's, that's right. really like that's, that's right. all i want to do but like this book is right it's going and, and in the middle my email address on that car and in the middle if you have any questions okay. do not hesitate to email okay me. i can zoom with you i can show you literally i know this space in and out I will okay, Zoom with you. I can help you out. Okay? Great. Well, All right. I have one question for you right now. For the blog. If someone wanted to get started in crypto, what would you tell them? Education. This space changes so much. So you have to first know the foundation. And yeah. I think that's how a lot of people get scammed and wrecked. Right. Because they don't even know just basic level yeah. stuff. And once you learn that, listen, we made all the mistakes for you. Okay? Yeah. So we've taken all of those mistakes. And now we're just transferring over into almost like what not to do. Mm -hmm. And what to do to make right. sure you stay safe. Right. Okay. Well, you want to get educated, you start yeah, right here with this start book. Right there. Yep. Here's a QR right there. Next if you want to go in and All right, get, get There you go. Get Got it on there. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. Nice Thank to meet you. you. Crypto ABCs for newbies. That's hard as fuck. Not in your state. I need some artwork, man. I was just 
just circling this bitch oh. looking for you. I'm like, yo, I know it's here. Like, I thought it was in the 500s. I'm good. How you, yeah. how you been today? Nice, bro. Today? Staying busy. Staying so busy. Everyone's running. It's funny, just like two minutes ago, I was just upstairs yeah. trying to get some more little tickets and everything. Yeah. But everything is smooth, bro. Okay. Can't complain. That's you know? good. That's so, good. Yeah. I'm talking to a lot of people. A lot of people are passionate about traveling, uh, helping to you. Yeah, you, you got a great niche yeah, with this. Yeah. This is great. Yeah, what's up with you? How you been? Man, I've just been chilling. Back. I did here a little early yesterday because I was tired as fuck. Back. I came from, from New York to Philly and then to here. Back. How your vlogging going? Can I check you on the IG, bro? Uh, yeah, for sure. I'm like, I'm glad I came because it's forcing me to make content. And Back. one thing I've been messing, like, I wouldn't say messing up with, but like, one thing I've been inconsistent with is consistency back, back. Back. With, we are it's yeah like, it's, it's a, it's a, uh, as a creator as a content creator you yeah yeah yeah, for yeah. Life. Yep, yep, but yep. in the downtime i've just been like looking up stuff on youtube like little editing tips back. tricks and stuff back. trying to like make my content better it's, it's going to be new quality content coming on the channel yeah man that's fire I'm glad we're here you looking forward to seeing i mean who you i mean i know you said um, people was getting uh delayed and stuff yeah. but i walked past the one booth and it was crazy it was like yeah. nah, i mean that's big venue where everybody was at yeah it was crazy yeah. Yeah. i'm looking forward to their conversation with diddy i really just want to hear like the type of questions they're going to be asking because they be asking some questions that normal interviewers don't be asking right, right, like right, the real right. stuff you want to know about right. i would say diddy and then 19 keys and then other than that i'm just going to be soaking up everything everybody say only thing you can do yeah for sure yeah for sure I did come to grab a hat though. Yeah, for sure, bro. Uh, 35, 35, 45. And then uh, these are the, uh, these are 55s. Uh, we, got a, a, we got these. These are uh, 40. Have you been looking at, so let me know what you want. Bro. Right. You, you, you got um, any of the embroidered ones like that? You know what's crazy? So this is a simple one. Because uh, these are supposed to be like this, right? Yeah. And they're supposed to be like that. Because it's the same font. But yeah. uh -huh. you know what I was like, nah, I'm going to do a screen print. But yeah, a lot of people actually been asking Yeah, I fucked with that one. Yeah. Like you old or not? What's up? Same. Malachi. Nice to meet passport, you. Bro? Passport? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay, for sure. For sure. For sure. We've been doing a. Uh, We've been doing a raffle. We're doing a raffle. The spots people get a passport. Yeah, someone, say someone win a passport. Uh -huh. I mean, win a raffle already has a passport. Yeah. We just want somebody, family, or something. Okay, bet. And basically, it's either two hats or one hat. Okay, bet. Yeah. 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 Yeah
we we're gonna, we're gonna have so many trips coming up, bro. So, right, so y'all do group trips? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what they get your personal Instagram and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can stay connected. Fire, bro. I'm gonna call you back right now. Bet, bro. Bro. I'm gonna, hold on, I'm doing right now. Cause you know how niggas be. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people don't be having no stuff in here. They be just trying to like, oh, take my Instagram and then leave. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. they don't be trying to follow you or nothing. Hold on. She was talking about how she designed clothes. I'm a model, actually. So yeah, yeah, that's what I, I can hit you too. Yeah, I can, I can hit you also. Also, about some Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, bro. I really appreciate you. No problem. Come hang out with us, bro. Like you know, do your thing. What's your Bye -bye. Uh, tonight. Yeah, we'll see because we gotta be back here in the morning. But overall, bro, we just gonna be vibing. Okay, we're just gonna be vibing. All right, they're trying to do something, but we so big, we got a big team, so I don't know how much we can do. But right. we're gonna be here. Right. We are, uh, we're here to yeah. 10. Okay, so come I'll back. See yeah, chill, bro. See yeah, just come chill. Don't right, feel it. Just chill, bro. Pop the hat, you feel me? Black kids travel. I'm, I'm an author, I'm a poet, I'm a few other things. Okay, you know what I'm okay. saying? I have a clothing brand for thinkers only. Mm -hmm. It's a reflection of, and a representation, and the yeah. importance of the um, importance of critical thinking on the daily. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? We need to. It's just on some fly shit, you know, style right, right, right. and choice making. Right. Mix both. You know what I'm saying? That's how the culture. Yeah. We need that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. One bad decision will end our whole life. You know what I'm saying? I did yeah, some yeah. time, so I come home and I realize like, what should I do? Uh -huh. I'm like, if I get into stack clothing. How should I go? I know I want it to be fly, but right. I want it to be Right, also, you gotta have like a meaning behind it. I want song. it to also yeah. be a purpose. Right. You know what I'm so, I was just talking to someone over there. Um, I don't know if you saw his booth called Black Kids Travel. Nah, uh, I just copped this hat from him, but basically he was just telling me, yeah, he was just telling me about like the purpose behind the brand. And I was like, that's what a lot of brands are lacking these days. Like, they don't got no meaning behind it. They don't got no purpose. They just starting yeah. a brand for money or something. Money shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like, if you actually put something behind it, then people, they build that connection yeah, with it. People yeah, people feel, if you, when people, like, like, like I said, you, you are, you are what you wear. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? That's what I, that's the look, that's the slogan. Yeah. You are what you wear. So people, when I put on some garment, I want to feel passionate about it. I want to feel right. like I am just like this person. Pleasure meeting you, bro. Good connecting. I'm gonna tap in with y'all if I'm ever in New York. You are and then I'm gonna definitely grab something from y'all's site, too, okay, for sure. Yeah, definitely. For sure. All right, bro. Nice to meet you. Have a good one. I'm definitely seeing stuff I ain't seen here yesterday. You got the fucking manifestation money. Manifestation money. What's up? Where you from, Brody? I'm from Philly. Philly? Yeah, what about you? We're from Toronto, bro. Where? We're from Toronto, bro. Toronto? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Playing the Canadian dollar. Yeah, okay. Thousand dollars, bro. Thousand? Thousand dollar bill, man. They have a thousand dollar, a real thousand dollar bill? Not no more. Not no more. <laughs> they did it in the 90s, you know what oh, I'm saying? Damn. They, they extinct now. <laughs> if, if you ever see one of these brothers, it's worth a lot more than a thousand dollars. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> That's super rare. Bro, I that one. So like what's your brand? So M2M is the brand. We're like the EYL of Canada. That's okay. the easiest way to explain us. So okay. we got a podcast, financial literacy. Oh. I'm a real estate developer. My brother's okay. in real estate as well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We, do, we build it, you know what I'm saying? Nice. So we got some t-shirts. Okay. My favorite Nipsey Hustle quote is on the back of that one. You know, the highest human act is to inspire. Okay. That's what oh. we do, you know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. We got some manifestation money we sell it as real well. Money. So it becomes real. It's as real as you need it to be, my brother. Feel me? Keep it with you. Keep it in your You know what I mean? You look at it, you want to go make it. Yeah, visualize it. You got to feel it. Tangible. 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 Exactly. For sure. How old are y'all, by the way? You look pretty young. How old do I look, brother? Like, and you? 27. 24. 24? Okay. What's here? Yeah. I'm 23. 23? How old? 99? 
Nah, 2000. 2000 maybe. Yeah. Nah, you just yeah. missed the cut, bro. <laughs> nah, you just missed the cut, bro. How old were y'all when you got started in real estate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brother, I just got my what's license. What's poppin'? M2F, what's poppin'? my license last year. Yeah, M2F, what's poppin'? But I've been, you always been, I've been around, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been here with my brother, I've been in Mexico, so I've been, been in the cloud. Been in the cloud, and my finally, you just got a physical issue. Exactly, exactly. Now it's time to make my own name, you know what I mean? It's my own money, you know what I mean? Wait, what's your name, by the way? Rico. Rico? Rico, bro. What's your Malachi. Name? Malachi? Yep, nice to meet you. Can't forget that man. name, bro. It's a sick name, brother. <laughs> Can't forget it. It's a sick name, bro. Oh, thank you. Thank you. For sure, bro. Connect on Instagram, For sure, bro. For sure, for sure. What do you do, bro? What do you do? Uh, I'm a model. So, okay, and right so. now I'm vlogging for my YouTube. So, I've been kind of a little inconsistent with that, but I've been working on a lot of content. Stay consistent, bro. Turn out. Yeah. Consistent, brother. That's my favorite nipsey pool. Modeling right now. This is key, my yeah, brother. Yeah, that's facts. I'm gonna have to grab this shirt. Yeah, hustle, stack, invest at the back and whatever. Yeah. Especially with the two, bro. Stay on that, bro. Yeah, for sure. Stay on that, for sure. So brother, can, don't like, overthink it. Drop that shit. Yeah. Don't overthink it. Don't try to make it seem like, bro, because people just want to see stuff. You know what yeah. I mean? You're gonna get better. Everybody's time, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're not gonna come out with the hardest shit. Right, first right, off, right, right. you know what I mean? I'm sure everybody that started 10 years ago, whatever, mm -hmm. they look back at their shit they did in the first year, like, what was that? Yeah. You know what I mean? So just yeah. drop it, brother. Yeah. Drop it, bro. Don't hesitate. Don't overthink <laughs> it, man. Drop it. Sure, I got you. My love, bro. All right, bro. Nice love, to meet bro. you. Nice to meet you, bro. Malachi. Yeah, how we going? I think I was just been on Bull's face all the time he was talking. Bro, he's telling me just drop that shit. I gotta just drop that shit, bro. Like, that's the only way I'm gonna get this ball rolling and stay on top of it. So, when I get back from Atlanta, the vlog's dropping. I'll make this? This shit is hard. This shit is hard, bro. Take a book of All the stuff we got coming out. Okay, bet, bet. Wanna shout your stuff out real quick? For my YouTube, for my vlog? <laughs> Go for it now. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Uh, shop no the card. Uh -huh. I mean, like t-shirts here. Uh -huh. T-shirts fifty dollars. Jackets one fifty. Uh, hoodies sixty dollars. Created in two thousand seventeen. Okay. It's our first time down here at Invest Fest. We're mm -hmm. gonna be here next year. We're gonna keep this shit going. Tough, tough. What got y'all started in the clothing? Uh, whatever my man's company is here, he just put it on paper. He ain't got no <laughs> recollection of where it comes from. It's just whatever he think of. Yeah. He put it down on paper. He shoot his little ideas. Okay. Like what we like, what we, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. all a collective, man. For sure. Just try and get this shit popping. So ideas, whose idea was it for the pizza box? That's a good little no, marketing man, tactic. Sure. That's a good little that. tactic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I just Something different. You never seen nothing like that. Yeah, nah. You always eating pizza. Like, <laughs> <laughs> No, for sure. You got to put it two and two together and make it work. For sure, that's smart. I definitely appreciate the support, man. Yeah, no problem. What's your YouTube? Lavish Lyles. There you go, right there. I'm going to follow you. Where y'all from? From Jersey. Jersey? I'm from Philly. Right next door, yeah. You like 20 minutes. Yeah, real shit. I'm in so you like 20 minutes. Oh, 20? Okay, that's right there, right across the bridge. You do like a lot of, like, anything, like, as far as vlogs, like, following people around and stuff like that? I don't really follow people around. I model and travel and stuff like that, so I feel like I do some pretty interesting stuff. Yeah, yeah. And it's stuff like modeling. People don't really see the behind the scenes of, like, what models do in, like, their day-to-day life. Or if they do, it's not really too much. Because, yeah, that's me. So, I'm just... Figured people want to see stuff like that, so yeah. and I come to stuff like this, so yeah. just put that out. It's content, content is content. Yo, if sure. you in Philly, if you ever want to model something, I'm gonna hit you up or just hit me up. Like I got, right, like bet. I said, I gave you the book where I yeah. got more stuff. I'm yeah, always yeah. looking for models, people for sure. Anything, so we can definitely work. Bro. Yeah, all right, bro. Yes, What's sir. your name? Trey. Trey yeah. Malachi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Slay. Slay Malachi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, bro. Bro, I could really make 10 bands off modeling in this one conference. 10 bands might be spicy, but I could get a lot of independent freelance modeling gig just from talking to people with clothing brands out here. But, you know, can't really do that because I have an agency and everything has to be done through the agency. Her boot caught my eye with the rolling papers. <laughs> I was like, it can't be. Huh? I was like, it can't be. <laughs> okay. See, see how these spoken. Yeah, thanks. Sure. Tag us. Tag us on IG. How are you doing? You enjoying it? Yeah, I'm good. There's a lot going on, right? Yeah, it is a lot. It's, I was here yesterday, but I left a little early. Tag us if you remember whatever you pulled up and we posted. Vlogging right now for my YouTube if you want to shout your stuff out. Oh, right now? 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can't get scared. Uh, I'm not scared. Yo, what's up? Make sure you follow us on Instagram. It's PeakyProducts.com. Wait, can I do that again? Yeah, that's good. That's not it. That's not it? No. You want to do it again? I said PeakyProducts.com. Oh. That's the Instagram. So I'm Take two. What's up? This is your girl from Freaky Products. Make sure you guys follow us on Instagram. Freaky Products. Gotcha. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Black on rolling papers. <laughs> Tricky products. All right, bro. Low key hungry, so I'm about to see what the food looking like over here. Oh shit! Damn. Yeah, bro. Line's long as shit, bro. Those are lines for the food. Damn. Damn. It looks like they got food truck village over there. I think. Let's see what the food trucks look like. So Diddy starts speaking at three. It's currently like 2.30 and I feel like it's gonna take damn near 30 minutes for me to get my food and get back to the stage. Now, we're gonna see how it goes. So I just hope that these lines ain't long as fuck. It's gonna be like fucking, it's gonna be like a thousand people out there. South of Philly. Yeah. She won't, she won't. Trying to find some vegan food out here is gonna be impossible. It's all like chicken and seafood. Bro, it's hot as shit. Yo, what the fuck? It's not that bad. 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 Oh, okay, you used to this. It's regular. It's regular. Damn, but shit, hot is hot, my nigga. Yeah. I saw y'all walking in recording. Well, what you do? Out here today. Yeah, I do uh, videography. Okay. Video, I got my own video agency, everything. Okay, like that. It's tough, it's tough. I do media. When I'm in Atlanta, though. okay, yeah. and you just do like yeah, offer services to like uh, companies and do their just use and stuff like that. I'm thinking about getting something started like that up in New York. I'm in Philly right now, yeah. but I'm trying to move to New York in like January and then get like some operations going up there because yeah. I already vlog and stuff for YouTube, yeah. and then my man's a photographer, so I'm just thinking we could put something together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, ain't got no fucking service, but yeah, it's like slow. Put your shit in here. Right, for sure. And then we can link up. Yeah, man. And I give you one of my cars too, just so you can have my number. I'm not putting shades. I know, right? I was just looking at something inside. How much is like two, two something? Some one that's the sun's left for five hundred dollars and shit. Yeah, it was like um, like a hundred. Nah, it was somebody that said they five hundred. Five hundred? Uh, I'm probably. What's your name? I'm Craig, bro. Craig. JD. JD. Malachi. Malachi. Malachi? Yeah. Oh, you said you from Philly? Yeah. Philly? Okay, cool. Yeah. So you just traveling out here for this? Yeah, man. And then my cousin, she um, has this short film she's working on. She's participating in the Morehouse Film Festival. They having their screening on Sunday, so we'll oh, probably slide to that. Yeah. It's nice to meet you. I'm about to go look for some food. Yeah, yeah. Hit me up. All right, I got you. All right, for sure. Be safe, my boy. Be yep, safe, you too. It should say superior oh. vegan cuisine. That's what I need. Superior vegan. Added to the ATL vegan food list. Damn, bro. Officially been waiting out here for 40 minutes. 45 actually, because I came out here at 2.25 and not exactly 2.30. Took probably about like 25 minutes for me to order. Now I've been waiting for my food for a good amount of time. It's hot as fuck. Hopefully this food's worth it. I know they in there working. Shit better slap. All right, yeah, I finally got my food. This shit took an hour and a half just for me to get it. Like, oh my God, I've been standing outside in that hot sun. It's 100 degrees out here. Shit just better be worth it. Missing all these speakers. Diddy was on stage. 19 Keys supposed to be having a high level conversation right now. This shit is drawling, bro. Like, it's hot as hell out there. I ain't even get to eat yet. Hey man, 19 Key just spoke to his high level conversation. Um, I had my camera battery on the charger because I was just gonna be off my phone and then they had like an hour to get some juice. And, uh, yeah, now we headed downstairs. They live over there right now. What's up, man? This is Malachi. I follow you on Instagram. Been watching you for a little while. I'm seeing. I'm glad you gave me your flowers. I've been seeing you going up, bro. Yeah, appreciate it, Malachi. I appreciate yeah, you, bro. Sure. Love, man. Yep. Appreciate you, bro. Just keep doing you. Right, we'll like see us. you around, man. Alright, bro. Peace, family. I want to thank all y'all for showing up.
everybody here at Invest Fest for showing up for yourself, showing up for your family, showing up for this moment in time that's really a movement in time. Because we moving through time because we've been dissatisfied. Everybody here, I believe, has been dissatisfied with the status quo. Our treatment in this country and our treatment of ourselves and our treatment of each other. So now we finally get to start to see a new culture be built out. And it's up to you all to protect that, to create something new that's based on values. I appreciate each and every one of you all supporting the booth because everything we do is independently financed. Ain't nobody in my pockets, nobody telling me what to say, telling me what to do. No, nah, we work with family. This is family that's all around here. And as I encourage people to do family business, we setting that tone and example. So please be courteous to my family. Got my twin brothers right here. You know what I'm saying? Got my mother over here. You know what I'm saying? I got everybody. My father over here. I got the team here. So I want to thank y'all for being a part of InvestFest. Thank Rashad and Troy. And let's continue to keep this movement going. They told me I won the Nobel Drip Prize today because our fly showed up. So I'm here to celebrate that with you all. Peace. Probably got food pages. They got 911 pages. They got gossip pages. All of those things help you push your brand if you market. You can pay those pages to promote your brand. But you got a private message. That's going to help you. Now you're boosting in Charlotte, learning how to create the right content to put there. Then you create something on YouTube that, that is based around Charlotte and becoming that, owning the SEO for what it is you do in Charlotte. So it's a lot, you're short, it's a lot. I'm about to say, like, you gotta really dive into it. Like, yeah. you say craft direction, you like, tweak it to, uh, to, to the platform that I'm trying to, to you. And when you create content, like, I create content for me. You can't create content for me. I can't create content like you. I'm gonna create content for you. You gotta try your message and find out what works. You go and test it on those shout out pages and things like that. You see what people gravitate towards the what works. But I gotta run, I'm gonna run and meet them back today, so let me get to it. All right, let's get a play, let's get to it. Yeah, can I ask you a quick question about credit real quick? What's up? I'm 23 years old from Philly. I got about a 730 credit score right now. What would you do in my shoes? What would you advise one in my shoes to do to take the steps to start going to business credit? So, a 730 credit score. Yes. And you said, what was the question? What would you do or what would you advise someone in my shoes to do to um, start taking steps towards building business credit? The key is not to get access to capital. The key is to build up cash flow. You got to make money. It ain't about just having credit or getting access to somebody else's money. If you ain't making no money, don't go get nobody else's money because then what's going to happen? You're going to spend it on something else. That ain't proven, so now you in debt. Right. That's what right. I would tell a young person in, in your position. Okay. I'm going to tell you what you're going to do. Start making money, generating capital. Right. Not leveraging that until it works. Okay. Until your business is a proven model that is profitable, okay. then you insert somebody else's capital. Okay. But make sure when you first get started, you're using your own grind, your work ethic, your, your knowledge to make money. It don't have to be, you gotta make millions. You need to see profit. You need to get into a profitable manner. And what'll happen is from there you continuously grow. And then work on your money management skills, learning how to budget, learning how to actually allocate your money to the right place and save it and let it grow. Not just, okay, I make money and spend that shit. Make money, watch it work, see it sit, see it grow, and then you start using other people's money into that equation and you go to another to the next level where can't nobody focus with you by the time you're 25. That ain't an overnight process. But it's a, it's a process, but take your time and your life has changed. If not, you be 25 figured out, you spend money wrong, and you're gonna be able to fix it until you're 27, 28, 29, and you finally get on the right track when you're 30, you burnt seven years of your life off of this conversation today. Thanks. On that note, I think we're gonna wrap up the vlog. That was a very needed answer he gave me about going live. He was like, how you gonna try and go and look for funding when you ain't even profiting nothing from your business? That was the first time we was in there. That was a lot. Yeah. It was a lot. Yeah, Ooh. I couldn't focus. It was, yeah, no. Yeah. That was it's crazy. like, I don't know how they having speakers going on, all this going yeah. on, speakers in there, all this music. It's yeah. just so much. I got overstimulated quick. Yeah, yeah, that was me the first day. That's yeah. why I was like, yo, yeah. I did. <laughs> Tomorrow's a good day, though. Tomorrow's all the digital shit. Yeah. Mm. Today was, um, what, like real estate and all that, investments? And uh, sh I, don't, I literally only saw Diddy, like with? half of Diddy. I've you been here at Dolo. Uh, okay, yeah, like just talking that. to people. I fuck with that. Just talking to people. Bro, sometimes that's the best way to come through. I feel like sometimes when you're with your friends or people just don't be on the same Yeah, on the same thing. Yeah, 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 yeah.
you can skip stuff. You can not mm -hmm. talk to somebody because you don't want to. People be here for different the things. Feathers, exactly. Yeah. You know. When you, I feel like when you want some creative shit, it's easier to go around people that's also creative than business people because it's like right. It's just, like we're, we're already talking to. So that's what was going on with me yesterday. Right. Like in my, I just came from an event in New York right. for like fashion shit. Right, right, right. So my head is in a whole creative. different lane. And it's like the business stuff can be helpful, but it's like when you're in a creative space and you're looking to like network with other creatives, mm -hmm. it's hard to be in that business setting with people because it's like they're right. already on a different type of time. Right, 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 like, right. Y'all talking about one thing, it's, it's like, like I'm looking for another as thing. As creatives, it's like you got to juggle both because exactly. you got to build, build, create. You got to create mm -hmm. and then you got to treat it as a business but too so that shit right. is like you gotta know what exactly <laughs> you're looking for and yeah. saying, like with the business you have to know exactly what it is you're ready for and looking for right. to even be able to communicate because yeah. otherwise you're just taking pain yeah 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 yeah. you gotta have something to give too you yeah. can't just be leeching on everybody <laughs> that's why i saw a few people in here and it's like like people maybe speakers or just people i know on like for social media yeah. i spoke to a couple but others i was like you know i'm gonna just Say what's up, maybe introduce myself, keep it pushing, because right. I don't want to just waste your time if I don't really right, got nothing right. that nothing. you can, you know, get yeah. from talking to me. Right, totally. Like, just I spin back another day. You're right. I also think sometimes you gotta see something like this as investments in itself. Like your first yeah. year in investments is not your third year in investments. Right. Fact. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You see people, and then th three years later you see them again, and you've seen them consistently mm -hmm. since then. That you've been growing, they've been growing, and now it's like, yeah. right. you know, this sometimes yeah, now y'all could work. Time is type the shit. Seeds type right. shit yeah. You know, this is getting your feet wet. Exactly. Shooters, like, yeah, but it ain't even. I'm realizing this is not even about the speakers. This is just it's not, talk for, yeah, networking because you can't do nothing else but talk to people. So yeah, many people right, here, like right. even inside, you couldn't even hear the speakers. Bro, right. I couldn't hear shit. <laughs> I will say it is some booties in Atlanta. Bro, you can't bro, talk. Bro, I can't cuffed? talk. I'm, yo, I texted my man's. I'm like, I deserve an award for being this boy. <laughs> like, <laughs> I deserve an award. Why you bring your girl? <laughs> I invited her, but she wasn't trying to come to this event, which I wanted her to, because she actually got like a little tote bag in it. She makes art and does custom tote bags and like all this stuff. She made me these custom lighters for Valentine's Day and stuff. So I'm trying to like get her to push that. And this would be the perfect setting for her to be in. She could have had her own booth and everything. But she wanted to come with her friends, hang out in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then her friends was like, we're not going anymore. So she ended up not going. And I was like, all right. That's a bad job. Yeah. Yeah, man. I don't think it was as organized. I definitely it thought been. it was gonna be. Yeah, in terms of just having the speakers and everything, I feel like the simultaneous stages and the um, vendor marketplace at the same time just throw people off. Yeah. It's like you don't really know where to be. Nah. I went to something like this, but it wasn't this. Yeah, me too. I've been to a couple in New York. Yeah, in New York. It was a couple yeah. of Revolt Summit? Revolt Summit. That's, That's what you want. I want to go to the Black Star Lion Fest in Ghana. Oh, oh, wow. That shit is lit. Bro, I've been seeing that all over Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta go. And it's at the end of the year. I'm low-key like, damn, end of the year trip. Right. Well, I'm looking to find space that where you're like wanting to go to shit and do stuff and yeah. be outside. Connect with people and stuff because I feel like that's a part of the game too. So, you going to be at Fashion Week? I have a casting on Tuesday. And then I'm also waiting to hear about this job. I may have to leave tomorrow night uh -huh. uh, for this two-day gig in New York, uh -huh. Monday and Tuesday. But if I don't, then I'm still going to go to New York on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. How about Paris? Paris? No, nah, I don't have representation in Europe anymore. What? Yeah, the niggas dropped me even after I booked the show. That's crazy. Season. Yeah. You know so. how Europe is, though. Europe is hard. They like weird. they are weird. They don't give a fuck about us. Right now with like high fashion and runway, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm low key cool off runway because that shit pays pennies literally. Runway, yeah. Yeah. Runway, that's, so I told my. Bring me the print. I've been telling my agents like, yo, we can stick with high fashion, but like I want to do like commercial editorial shit. Right. So I just shot this editorial for Moose Knuckles. Oh, it's gonna be dropping in a couple, a uh, couple months. Dope. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, man. Then, on the up too. Yeah. Knew I was gonna be a millionaire. Like I actually grounded and prepared to be a millionaire. So eventually I became a millionaire.